Hello and welcome to Blender Bite Size. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this material procedurally in Blender. Feeling lazy? You can support this channel and skip the hard work by grabbing the blend file for this material from Gumroad for just a pound. Feeling flush? Feel free to throw some of that coin my way using the coffee link in the description below the video. Okay, let's make a start. I've got my objects loaded. I'm in the shading tab. I've got viewport shading enabled. I'm using the cycles render engine with my graphics processing unit. And I have a principled shader applied already. A couple of changes we'll make to that from the offset. We'll crank up the metallic to one. Uh, oh, it wasn't a couple, it was just that one. <laughs> anyway, next up we're gonna add a Voronoi texture. Seems to be my go-to at the moment. Um, we're going to plug that into the normal. Bet you thought I was going to the base color, didn't you? Now, it's looking wonky because it's not appropriate. I could take the position and plug it into the normal, but that's not what I want. So I'm going to put the distance in, and to convert that, I'm going to use a bump node. And this needs to go into the height. So you can see some craziness already happening there. To control this, I'm going to add a color ramp. And move that black color to position 0.25. And leave everything else as it is. I'm going to take the color from the color ramp and plug that into the strength of the bump node and invert it. I'm also going to take the color from the color ramp and plug that into the roughness. And I'm going to add a mix RGB here, just on its own, and plug the color ramp into color one. Change the blending mode to difference and just apply any old color to this. Not much happening with that color at the moment because I've not plugged it into anything. So plug that into the base color. And you can see it almost gives like a spray painted finish. We've got more to do though. I need to add a mapping node and a texture coordinate to the Voronoi texture. Oh, silly me. Control T for that and change that to object. Now for the scale, I'm dropping the X and Y down to zero and leaving the Z on one. For the scale on the Voronoi texture, I'm changing it to 20 and I'm changing the feature output to distance to edge. Now, the lines are all over the place at the moment, so we're dropping the randomness on the Voronoi to zero, and you can see now we've got equally spaced banding around. You can change the spacing between those bandings by moving this black slider, or in fact, the white slider. You can change the color using this mix RGB. And we can change the scale of that banding using the scale on the Voronoi texture. So let's run this through the render and see how we get on. Just going to change that back to a red color. I'm using a thousand samples. So we'll see how that goes. And there you have it, some metallic banding that's adjustable in uh, both size and color. And of course you can change the metallic settings as well to give it a slightly satin finish. 
I hope you've enjoyed this and will give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe for future content. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Thank <music> you.